Sergeant BA. Say big cap. And we just kind of want to talk for a minute. Um, the two of us, you can watch the road or whatever you want. But yet, uh, we just kind of wanted to talk for a minute about how people have just become so dependent on things to the point that they can't figure out how ordinary stuff gets done anymore. The things that we used to just figure out. We can't just figure out how to do that stuff anymore. Hey, look at those woods. No, you don't want to look at the woods. I'm a, anyway, like common sense isn't common sense anymore, and people figuring stuff out just isn't figuring it out anymore. Hey, do I go left or I go straight? Straight. I go straight. You can go left. I go left. Yeah, straight. you turn. Oh, that's right. Anyway, so common sense, like people have to, they don't get it. How did you mount your jack to your hood? Hmm, let me see. I mounted my jack to my hood. That was how I did it. I don't get it. Like, how did you get lights on your hood? No, I didn't go to some expensive freaking company and have them make me special brackets so that I could be told how to. Now, I could see making a video explain to someone how a jack works, right? Or, or how a winch works, you know what I mean? There are people that need to know how stuff works, but putting something, attaching something to something doesn't seem to me that hard anymore. Ah, uh, I don't know. And the hippieism. The hippieism is out of control. It is completely crazy how hippie-ish the world has gotten. And people get offended when I explain to them how to do something. I don't understand how people can get so offended because I'm explaining to them how something works. Not, I mean, I'm not strapping diapers on them or anything or forcing them to eat freaking orange sherbet. It's not like that. I mean, I'm just trying to give them some information. This is how this works, right? Right. Do you got anything to say about this? Or am I just gonna keep talking? I'm just, I don't know why people can't just take it for what it is and just be like, well, that's nice at least people out there are trying to help ed educate and inspire others if you already know how to do it then that's great just move on to the next video yeah i don't i don't get it oh and then the dude you talk too much oh, dude you whine too much how about that yeah yeah you know i mean it's one of those things but yeah today uh sippy cup and i are just kind of just talking we're uh i'm heading to we are headed to a pawn shop in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're just kind of hitting some back roads and just cruising around. We don't really care. Um, it's it's a nice cloudy day. Seemed like the perfect opportunity to just go driving around, right? Right. Anyway. But yeah, we're going to go hit up a pawn shop. Uh, the dude that owns the pawn shop's son is a Marine and I don't know. And uh, I don't know. I guess... I guess I'm going to go down there and, and just kind of shoot the breeze with this dude for a little bit and see if I can't score a chainsaw. I need a chainsaw. I, I don't have one. I, I should, but I have all I have a whole bunch of handsaw stuff, but I don't have a chainsaw. Why? Why on earth? Staff Sergeant BA, why don't you have a chainsaw? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? You don't have a chainsaw? Out of all the gear you can own, you don't have a chainsaw. You sad excuse for a human being creature thing. Right? Right. Right. But anyway, no, I don't have a chainsaw. I'm going to get one from a pawn shop, though, because I need one. Am I going the right way? Yep. I feel like I'm in the episode of Wrong Turn. Yeah. Or well, the movie Wrong Turn. Yep. I screw the movies up all the time. I have no idea who wrote the movie, who filmed the movie, or any of that. But at least I get the name of the movie right and kind of what happens in the movie. I don't have to get the director, the person who wrote the book, any of that stuff right. I can screw all that stuff up. Left. That's, oh yeah, I go left. Anyway, but the other thing that's really funny to me is how people would nitpick all sorts of stuff. Like, uh, other YouTube channels, like you could sit there and say, well, you know, um, a person could say, well, I'm into fitness and I work out a lot. All right, have, have you seen him at the gym yet, right? That's the reason why earlier, when we, we just came from the gym. We were actually going to videotape doing some workouts and stuff and we were going to kind of talk about health so people need 
need to be concerned about their health. Dude, if you can't run or, I mean, I know there's people out there with, you know, terrible, terrible medical problems. I mean, that's, I can't help it if you have medical problems and I can't help you that um, there's something wrong somewhere, right? Right. Right. I'm right, right? right. Yes. I can't, I can't, I can't solve that problem, but I always get the whole like, yeah, well, must be nice. What did I do to you? I didn't do anything to you. Don't get offended. Don't get mad. I mean, yeah, it must be nice. I mean, well, I mean, I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? Give you a hug? I don't understand why people get so upset. You just can't please everybody. I can't. I can't not please. Well, that's fine. It is ridiculous. We're not here for those people. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, the point is, you need to work out. Take my word for it. Trust me. If it's just some kind of the same kind of gargan routine every single day, I don't care what it is. Find something for you to do physical activity to stay in some kind of shape. And that shape not being round. Alright? Just because I set a set a shape. I mean some people that give me this group bullcrap, it's baloney. Like the whole like, yeah, well. You know, it's cool and all that you're a group of like eight people or something, but what if you're a group, what if they come up on a group of 50? They said, they said 50. Look, a group of 50 is not really, you need some lighting? No, we're good. All right. That's not working. I'm telling you right now. Is it kind of dark? Give me to open a window. I just see your red beard glowing and that's it. That's it? Well, there's no light. That's okay. Keep talking. Anyway, let me just turn this on. Yeah, I guess that's not enough either. I'm gonna run off the road. Yeah, you just talk and drive. All right, so anyway, so it's like, what if your group of eight runs up on a group of 50 or or a group of 250? Okay, in reality, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, in reality, a group of 25 are probably not going to get along at all. I'm telling you right now, a group of 25 is not even gonna get along. A group of 20 probably won't get along. And the training isn't there. The skills, they're not there. You're going to have a group of people. The Army and the Marines, let's just use those two for example, do not have every single Swing and Richard on the same sheet of music. And that's the reason why they all have to train together. They all have to practice together and cross-train together. They... You're only as strong as your weakest link. If you've got one dude stealing from everybody and looking for the opportunity to uh, uh, screw the other person over, then that's not considered a group. You just got a bunch of people that like to sit around together and drink beer. That's pretty much all you've got is a bunch of dudes that would go hang out and, and chug some beer together and that's it. That's the other thing. If you're an alcoholic, I probably don't want you in my group. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's too many people out there. They've got major drinking problems. They just sit around drinking all day, every day, and talking. And if you're that kind of person, you're not you're not going to help any group out there. You're going to be useless, completely useless. And I'm going to end up having to... There's going to be people having to help you. You ever had that one guy, if you were ever in the military, the guy that would... As soon as you went on deployment somewhere, or if you had to make a pit stop somewhere, that person got extremely intoxicated and freaking arrested and did something extremely heinous and secured the liberty for every single person that was on that deployment or on that debt or on that whatever it was. He was the guy you had to go to the hospital for that was sitting there with freaking IVs in him, you know? But he was a Marine, right? That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. He was a jarhead. Hey, don't talk over me. There you hoop. Anyways, but you get the point of what I'm saying. A group of eight runs up on a group of 250. Okay? In your wildest dreams. Because that group is not a group. That group is a mob. Or that group is a part of the U.S. Army. Or that group is part of the U.S. Marine Corps. I'm just saying, all right? So some people are just getting way too blah into this mess. I'm just saying. Do you got anything to add to that, Sippy? 
I think people just kind of reach out too far in the what if yeah, section. It's like, well, what if a pun uh, pack of rabid dogs comes to get you? It's like, hey, come yeah. on, just keep it simple and just common sense. Yeah. More practical. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, well, that's all I got. Uh, you're watching SOS. I am Staff Sergeant BA. And Sippy Cup. Take and it easy. the kids. Say bye. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>